G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode where we are going to walk through how we can achieve some personalization on your intranet homepage using the SharePoint vertical section and also a couple of different web parts. Now, as we know, having a, a nice dynamic page for and relevant page for uh, users of your intranet is really important and really does ramp up that adoption and usage and makes things uh, useful and relevant to the, the logged in user. Now, one of the ways we used to and continue to need to do that is, is to provide uh, more targeted content and relevant content to that logged in user. Instead of just general news announcements and news and announcements, general events, that type of thing, what we really want to try and achieve is that personalization aspect. So using a, a SharePoint, uh, the new vertical section on a, on a home page or on a, on a modern page really does allow us to, uh, to add a couple of different web parts that are going to give your users some personalization and targeted and relevant content. There's a couple of web parts that I'm going to walk through today um, that I'll, I'll show you how we can configure those to provide a, a really easy out of the box way to be uh, to have that uh, have that targeted and relevant content. So we'll use a, a vertical section on the right hand side of a page. We'll add a few web parts um, and then we can we can see how that looks uh, and obviously will provide a lot of value to your users. So let's dive in and, and have a look. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put the, put this page, first of all, into edit mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add the vertical section, all right? So we're just gonna add the vertical section to the page. You can see here that it runs all the way down the right-hand side of the page. And what I like to do with these sections, just to give it a, a little bit more distinction, is just to give that vertical section a background, all right? Different background, different, um, it, it just makes that, breaks the page up a little bit, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Yammer, the new Yammer web part to the page, all right? So I'm gonna use the new conversation web part of Yammer and provide the user with their home feed, all right? So that's, again, contextual and relevant to the logged in user. It's personal to that, per, to that user. Now, I'm just gonna, um, set the number of conversations down here to two. And I'm just gonna call this web part my feed. All right, so there's the first web part that we're gonna add. Second web part we're going to add is the news web part, but we're gonna change it slightly, all right? So we're going to, in, in this example, I'm just gonna use uh, news from this site, and I'm going to make sure that this enable audience targeting is on. All right, so we're gonna, that means that anything that has been targeted at uh, the groups that I'm a member of are gonna be presented here, okay? So again, targeted, relevant, uh, contextual to the logged in user, all right? So we're just gonna leave it at that. We'll leave the, the, the settings uh, side by side and we'll just close that one. Now the third one we're going to add here is, is a relatively new one and it's the save for later web part. All right, so with SharePoint pages and also documents now that are rolling out, you, you're going to be able to save those documents or pages for later. And this is something, this is a new web part that's rolling out that again provides that, uh, that, um, uh, that personalization to that logged in user and can present this information um, of, of any document or news article or page that that, that particular user has, has saved. Right, so let's have a look at the settings that uh, this web part gives us. So from the source, we can either choose save from this site or save from all sites, all right? So a good thing to, to leave on um, that, that I like to, to implement is all saved items because that brings in items from anywhere. So whether that be OneDrive or SharePoint or groups or Teams or anywhere, and when a user logs into your intranet or your portal landing page, then they've got all that presented in a, a single location. But you could just set it just from this site. Good for projects, okay? So if you wanted to change that also to uh, saved items for this site, that could work um, if you're on a particular project site with lots of documents and you save documents or save things in that particular project site and you've got a home page for that project, you could also um, just use the, the saved items for, for, uh, from this site. 
The other options here, we've got, we can change the type. So we can either choose documents or pages, all right? So we can um, maybe have two web parts, right? One that's specifically for documents, one that's specifically for pages. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it to, docu uh, to all, and I'm gonna leave it at eight, all right? I'm also going to set this tick box here, which is going to hide this web part if that logged in user hasn't saved anything, uh, any items, all right? So it just avoids that. Uh, that UI display of, of the web part title, but there'll be nothing there, all right? And I'm gonna leave it as, as a grid. You can opt, it, opt for the list, but I like the, the icon um, the icon look and feel of this web part here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to close this off and we're gonna republish this, okay? So you can see here, we've now got the homepage, but we've also got the section here where it's all personalized. So I've got my save for later items. I've got my news. Actually, let's, what we'll do here is we'll go, uh, let's just change the title of this web part. We'll call it my news. And we'll call this uh, my saved items. So it gives, again, gives that user that personalization feel when they logged in here. It's my, my saved items, my news, and my feed. All right, so three little out of the box web parts that you can add nice and quickly and easily to a modern page or even the home page of your intranet that gives it a, a more uh, personal um, targeted content that's presented at that user. And on the left hand side here, we've got the more um, the more general type information that, that uh, we can display to the user. Now. Let's just take a look at some other things that we can do with this vertical column. So if we wanted to have a really big contrast, we can also change um, the color to a, a more contrasting color. You can see there that it's now taken on the theme of the site. And we've got, you can see here that the Yammer feed has, has changed. Uh, it's like it's in dark mode. Um, and we've also got some other, some other colored. So depending on your theme of your intranet and your site, um, you can play around with the, the different contrast. Now, I like just to have a, a, a nice little subtle contrast of the gray here. So I'm just gonna change it back to gray and uh, we can now display that. So we've now got a sidebar, a nice long vertical column that takes up the, uh, the whole right hand side of this page. And it, it's a really good use case for having some personalized items that the my content of your internet displayed in that, uh, in that sidebar. And you've got the rest of the content there on the left hand side uh, for, for users to consume. So just a little tip, hope that brings you some value. Hope you can start to implement that type of feature. It really does um, ramp up the, the, the adoption of an intranet because it is relevant, it is contextual, and it is personal for that logged in user. Thanks for watching and there'll be plenty more of this to come. So stay tuned. Hope that brings you some value. See you next time.